you so much. Thanks for coming out. People always get pissed off when I talk about anything other than like what fucking kind of jeans I wear. So prepare to be pissed off. Obviously, it's gotta, it's gotta be said, you know, today, to, you know, a lot of you are probably too young to remember that day, but it was a very, very sad day. I remember trying to get all my friends, my family on the phone out in New York, couldn't get a hold of anyone. One of the scariest days ever, one of the saddest days ever. And then what followed has been like one of the saddest decades ever because we reacted exactly in the exact wrong way we could have as a country. And if anyone tells, if anyone tells you that we made ourselves safer by invading two Muslim countries and turning a bunch of normal kids into terrorists that hate us, then you're wrong to The thing is, if we want to live in a more peaceful world, we have to become a more peaceful people ourselves. We have to accept our own faults. We have to accept that we're not going to be the masters of the world. We have to work with the world. We have to be a part of the world. And we have to erase the hatred and bigotry and anger and revenge inside ourselves. And once you erase that, you start to erase it across the world. That's the only way this is going to work. It's the only way we're going to have any kind of future, especially for you young people. That's the way it's going to be because there's just too many nuclear weapons in this world and there's too many crazy extremists and we have to address the real problems, which are extremism, poverty, hunger, inequality, all over the world, education. These are the real things that are going to make this world a better place. You're never going to, you're never going to save the world at the end of a fucking barrel of a gun. That's, where, that's a fact. Right? that our country has come up with. George Bush and, man, I fucking, I hate to say it, but Obama's right next to him. So until we stand up and say that's not an acceptable way to approach and engage in the world, then we're just going to have more of the same and there'll be a hundred, a hundred more 9-11s in your lifetime. Unless we change our ways, and, and in changing our ways, they will have to change their ways too. It's all about love and logic and peace and education and treating everyone like human beings because we're all made of the same things. We're all made of carbon. We're all made of the same things. It doesn't matter what you look like. All right? I love you guys.